Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to some more FIFA 17 content. This is from the capture event that we got to go to the other day. Um, a massive thank you once again to EA for inviting us down and giving us the opportunity to get some early footage out there for you guys. I mean, when a new FIFA's around the corner for me, I always like to see whatever sort of glimpse I can get of it to get excited and look forward to the new game and just hype it up sort of thing. But yeah, um, I was lucky enough to get my hands on a FIFA 17 legend, one of the newer ones, Emmanuel Petit. Played in the Premier League, played for both Arsenal and Chelsea and I did catch the back end of his career which was pretty cool um, so I do know he is a very decent player. 87 rated so he's not the lowest of legends. Just look at his stats, some of those stats are ridiculous. He's got 92 aggression, 87 strength, he's got 89 shot power and 89 long shots so you can see he's going to be physical and very good at shooting. Even from CDM, he's 87 rated, which is pretty cool as well. Three star skills, three star weak foot, and um, I don't know how much you're going to be able to use his shooting or his long shot um, take a trait from CDM, but if you can, I'm sure it'll be very, very useful. This is the side that I decided to pop a T into. You can also see a lot of the other players' ratings. Laporte is pretty high rated, 84. You can see Mandanda's 85. I'm not sure if all of these are final. The EA guy did say to us that not all of these, although this is the full game, not all of these ratings will be final just yet. Until the actual release of the game but Petit put him on the left side and that is mainly because I wanted to try his long shots and a cross goal shooting but yeah I did manage to get a game against Ethan an online single match he was telling me about Payet Aguero how good his side was but I didn't want to know that I wanted to see how Emmanuel Petit played in CDM playing against the regular goal players seeing how he would fare because if you guys know in the previous uh, FIFA's legends have always been that step ahead of the normal players for those of you guys on PS who may not know I really do feel sorry for you guys because I feel that you are in title to legends as well paying pretty much the same amount as we do on xbox but yeah legends have always been that step ahead of the regular players and i think yet again that will be the same sort of trend this year i could feel like emmanuel petit felt a bit stronger than everyone else uh, just on the pitch and obviously i was trying to get the ball to him as many times as i could because i wanted to see what he was capable of but he just felt stronger he felt uh, pretty fast for someone with 70 something pace and um, yeah, that was just evident. With regards to shooting as well, you can see he turns away from this guy um, and he just smashes it. He just smashes it and it goes in. So I feel like because there are going to be legends that are way better than him, that's scary already because if he can do that from CDM 87 rated, of course he's got long shots as well. But a lot of the legends do have long shots and the better ones will probably be incredible off of this. And that's what I wanted to do uh, when using this guy. I wanted to gauge how probably the other legends like the Hullets, the Del Pieros, all those guys, their shooting is probably going to be incredible. So if you are on Xbox and you play against legends, I do feel sorry for you. I'll probably have a couple of them in my team. You can see yet again, just showing the physical ability in comparison to the normal cards. And um, that's going to be a thing. So look out for that, guys. It's going to be legends year again. But a nice pass there and Ever puts that wide of the goal. But um, yeah, I think it's a learning curve. Once again, legends will be there and about. Uh, I don't think he's going to be the main legend in your team. I think he'll probably cost around 400k. Uh, he's not going to be the guy that you want to make your team around. As you can see, he goes up and puts the penalty uh, nicely into the bottom corner. But that's another thing you've got to learn. Penalties are a lot more difficult on this one to save and to score. But I think it's one of those things when you get it, you'll get it as Ethan does a sweat goal. I was disappointed with that, but two seconds later and he does that again. But yeah, back to Emmanuel Petit. I don't think he's going to be the main guy in your team. You will want him to do like the dirty work in the middle. He is a CDM at the end of the day. With his long shots, not sure how many times you're going to be able to try that out. Um, but yeah, like I said, probably will cost around 400k. Um, hopefully no more than that because if it's that, then I don't think he'll be worth it. But the main things to look out for are shooting and um, his physical ability. And that's going to be Legends again. I, I mean, I'm scared for you guys because I know I'm going to have a couple of Legends in my team. So if you come up against me, then look out for it. I was also thinking maybe doing a series around one of the other Legends. Um, let me know what you think. I was thinking Del Piero. If you guys would like to see that in FIFA 17, let me know and I will try and make it happen. But yeah, as you can see, I scored a last minute goal there against Ethan. But yeah, that has been some gameplay on Emmanuel Petit. I don't think you guys will really want to make him like the main player on your team but I think if you have spare coins then you probably want to get him um, he shouldn't be that expensive for a legend but yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching this video leave a like on it subscribe if you're new let me know about the legend uh, series if you guys would like to see that as well and um, apart from that look forward to more FIFA 17 content and I'll talk to you guys in a bit peace